Hi guys, this is Wei from the Lucas Garden, and husband is here too. And today Hello. we're <laughs> and today we're gonna do a tomato tasting from our garden tomatoes. So this one here, it's a black cream tomato. It's one of the biggest ones. I'm sure I showed it to you a couple of times during um during previous videos. And as you can see, it's turning it's a little bit darker than the other tomatoes. I don't know if it turns darker though, but that's the color it is, and it's just right. This one is one of the A65 tomatoes in which we were using Emily Gardner's Trifecta Plus. Unfortunately, well, it's a little smaller than we would like, but we're going to see what's the taste, which at some point that's what really matters. This one is a Roma tomato, which... Manzano? Roma um, Manzano? San Manzano? But it's a Roma? Yeah. Okay, so this is a San Manzano paste tomato, which is of the Roma tomatoes. And as you can see, they grew better. Hoo hoo! That's the first one that grows properly. And this one is an Ace 55, but with our own blend of fertilizers and so forth. So we're going to try all these four. We have some basil here and we're gonna be able to tell which one is better from all these four and this is why we're doing this is because last night I did mozzarella cheese yay first time and it came out good um, why the pause because the last batch it didn't come out good so it ended up being cream cheese so it was still okay Yes, so um, we had that for breakfast in a toast, and it was good. We just added some herbs, but the mozzarella that came out did come out good, and we're going to eat it with some of the best tomato of all of these four, and basil from our garden as well. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're going to start with the black cream. Here you go. That's for you. Tell me what you think. Mm, very good. Nice and clever. Okay, so the black cream was really good, right? Oh yeah, delicious. Okay. We will definitely be growing more of that next year. So this is Emma Gardner's A65. A65. Right. Yep. Let's see. Mmm. Ooh. Very sweet. Yeah, sweet. It's very That's tasty. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good flavor. Here, this is our R A Swift Divide. Mm, not so sweet or tomatoey, but good. Nice flavor. Yeah, it tastes more like a tomato. Mm -hmm. Not like a store tomato. But it's not as sweet. No. That's not as sweet. I still like I mean that's what I would probably use for a hamburger or sandwich. Yeah, we could in salads. And I would use a sweet one for the salads, I would think. Yeah. Okay, last one. This is uh, manzano. Oh, San Manzano. San Manzano or whatever. Ooh, that's incredible. Mmm, yummy, good. yeah. Now I know why people like it so much. Wow. I always wonder what the big deal was, but... So... see for a paste tomato, it was very tasty. Yeah, that was really so good. Small. So which one did you like best? <laughs> That's hard. Okay, so I liked this one. Our M our A sixty five. A sixty five? Because you know how I like um I like a little bit of a bite to it, like a tangy yeah. bite to it. But you like sweet, so you probably like the my gardeners more. I do, I like it, but um, the problem is that they're, they're really small. I know. And the and unfortunately the plant um, and it could have been the container. Um, but last year you used the same container and they yeah, were huge. That's what I used different methods. So, I mean, n now it, it was really really it ran out of um, right now it turned really pale green, which usually means that it has run out of it's missing nutrients so we're just not gonna so, so we're gonna stop that since we stopped the test 
because yeah. the test required that we are not gonna, we weren't gonna add anything else because well, you know it was a test. Um, now that we tried them, though they're good but just really small. Um, what we're gonna do now is just add our blend and our mixes, things that are already work for our tomatoes, and then that way ho hopefully we'll get them bigger because the taste they taste really good. Yeah, we're probably going to get in it. We'll get another crop with that. It has a little bit ways to go before, uh, when they start in October is when we stop getting tomatoes. So all our tomatoes will keep on producing. Hopefully we'll get some more of the, the paste tomatoes. Um, with our experiment, it seems to be working. The tomatoes are bigger. Um, they're, the plant is recovering from the heat, but We'll see. You know what? I like the black cream too a lot. I mean, they're really good, all of them. Just, I guess, for different kind of foods. But this one, I mean, for me, the A65 ours is very good. And my gardener's is very flavorful, but it's sweeter. This one has a very interesting flavor. I like it very much. So, which one do you want to use for the salad? Make sure of all of them? Yes. I guess so. Not choosing just one like we were wanting to. We're going to choose, um, well, all of them. <laughs> and put them in our salad with the mozzarella that I did last night and the basil. This is the mozzarella that I did yesterday. So here's has been cutting. And these are the slices of our tomatoes because we decided to use them all. The basil, mozzarella, and we're going to see how the salad looks at the end. Look at that black cream. Ain't that beautiful? I think so. I like green and red. It's supposed to be the best mixture of colors in, um, like a natural balance color thingy. Did you know? Like orange and blue, red and green, purple and yellow. Oops. Yes, no, yes, I'm talking to you. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, yep, more tomatoes for the salad and lots and lots of mozzarella. <laughs> it's so good. Yum. And presto! This is our salad with our tomatoes, our basil, and our mozzarella. Not the no, homemade mozzarella. But we made the cheese. So, yay! Most of it is our product then without the milk. And then, well, not considering the oils as well. What did you put to the salad? Um, just you slice it in like it's shown there and then you put a, a little bit of of um, olive oil you drizzle it along in a circle and then you can use wine vinegar or I use balsamic because I love balsamic vinegar so and that's it and then you eat it with bread and we have a delicious meal here so bon appetit buen provecho and great for very hot days when you know and then if you want to make it really exciting you can also add some salami to that too and just cut it up and and kind of eat it on the side would that be like an italian lunch yeah i guess yeah. <laughs> that looks very italiany well mozzarella is supposed to be italian yeah <laughs> there you go presto is it presto i, I don't know <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, bon appetito!